Okay, welcome back everyone to Let's Play Destiny with Rampancy.net. I'm Narcogen. I'm Blackstar, and here we are. We're going to be commenting on our lovely, uh, I don't know how we, you would describe this. It, it's not exactly a highlight reel, but it is footage of our gameplay that we did with uh, Chaos Coop, Banana, and Lawnmower. Well, I, actually, uh, that that's just this particular death. That's actually not even the crew that finishes the raid this time. No, so, no, it's not. <laughs> we're, we're, we're doing this to get this out of the way. This footage is a million years old. It is from last mm -hmm. fall. This is nor normal mode <laughs> Oryx recorded before hard mode. Uh, I think was I even out? Um, yeah, it was before the update. And before too. the challenge mode. Okay, so there's no yeah. Light Eater Knights in this, and there's no need to do 16 bombs. There's none of this. <laughs> none of that stuff in here uh the problem basically has been is that every time i try to uh get in on one of those things either either i'm set up to record and we don't make it all the way through to oryx or mm -hmm. uh i'm playing and i'm not set up to record and that's when we end up doing oryx doing it um so basically this is just a highlight reel we're going to talk in general about the raid and maybe come how we feel about this raid as opposed to the other end game activities that we've got in the game and and again how destiny is different from halo and all this kind of stuff like that so uh let's let's start the video all right so the first 10 minutes of this are basically a cute little highlight reel on ways to die, how to die. <laughs> in the oryx encounter i'm not sure this may be this may be the first time i had ever taken this character into oryx Possible. Now, which one are you on? Are you on your hunter? Yeah, yeah, this is the hunter. This is the podcast character. And the first thing that struck me about this is that it was very much like a like a JRPG boss in the sense that it's not, it's almost not even a unit you're dealing with. It's it's part of the environment. The yeah. Way, the way he is so much bigger than everybody else, and he appears outside the arena and moves around like Stations of the Cross. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Wow, a little Catholic school stuff getting in there. I'm surprised you didn't use your sniper. I think I was saving it for orcs. Because really? basically, yeah, because it's. The, 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 okay, now I have no idea what I thought I was doing grabbing this heavy. I don't know either. <laughs> uh, it, it was so long ago, I may have done that intentionally to get slammed. Really? If oh, so, I'm, I'm really not sure. I might have just been trying to grab the heavy and I thought I could get off the platform before he slammed. Yeah. Wow. Um, that's that's funny. Yeah. Okay, and this is you. Well, knowing we're going to wipe, I said, you know what? Yeah, yeah. So I'm you're already trying to get on the ship. You're already mm -hmm. doing a stunt, yeah. And, yep, I'm and already doing a stunt. Everybody else is dying. Yep. And you see the spaceship kind of go backwards and forward here, and I'm like, yep. yes, you can get on top of it. And yep. I'm like, yeah, and, of, and course, of course now I'm torn. Yeah, so. now you're torn, and everybody else is dead. And yep. uh, the ship disappears, this. but it's you stay up yep. for it's a like little bit. It's like weird. Oh, it's like Bungie figured we were like too busy in combat, we wouldn't pay attention to that kind of stuff. Well, I'm guessing what it does is that it probably just probably just makes the ship invisible and it's probably set so that it, it won't collide with certain things so that's probably how they get that to transition through the wall it disappears mm. and it stops colliding with the wall but still collides with players that's why you stayed up there until long after it had passed yeah weird isn't it okay so here we go round two yeah so so all right so the question is how do, how does this one mess up probably spectacularly I'm just going left again. I think I'm running. I think I'm running this time. That's, Are that's, you I think that's why I recorded it. Yeah, I think. I think why I kept this in is that this. Oh, well, Lon's gonna run. He went up first. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah. I wonder. Maybe he wasn't supposed to. I'm not. I, I don't remember. But in the normal mode, this was the platform that I used to do back when you had a set platform instead of a number in the sequence. Yeah. Yeah, I never quite understood why people couldn't do things simply. <laughs> uh, 
you know what? I, I've I've been persuaded that the number and sequence thing was the was the best way to do about it. But when I was new to it, the idea of like, okay, this is my platform. I know where my platform is, and I right. will go there. You know your platform. Was, you know your was, bomb. That's all was you need better. to know. <laughs> So we took the vessel mm. off. And yeah, okay, that's the next way we get died, right? We got slammed. We yeah, did not, did not no. do enough damage. I'm not even well, sure nobody why. nobody was shooting. Yeah, Lady Phoenix and Quackers. Yeah, so this is yeah, so the, it's already group. it's already changed up. I think this I think this is the group that that finishes this time actually. Uh, and this this one may be the one where I run. I'm not sure. We're soon to find out. Uh, and this was also before they patched uh, the Xbox software to allow party chat to go to speakers. So there was none. We basically, we're not. Nobody's on Mumble during this session. It's yeah. all in. It's all in party chat. So none of the chat audio was recorded because it couldn't be. So that's why we're doing a post commentary on this instead of a live commentary. Yeah, maybe we should talk to somebody over at uh, I don't know Xbox development and come up with a. Mumble version for the Xbox One. I think that would be quite spectacular. Uh, the open source license might be a problem there. I'm not sure. You think? Well, that and the fact that they own Skype. That might be a problem. <laughs> People forget that. <sighs> oh, no, I don't forget it. I just don't care. <laughs> Here, for this particular run... Yeah, no, I'm obviously not running because I'm yeah. not in the right position for here. I think maybe who's maybe you are? It's me and Lawn. I don't know who's actually going to run. Okay, it's Lawn. Oh, Lawn. <laughs> I think this might have been one where he was trying to practice, you know, because oh, okay. he, he, for the longest time, wasn't getting it or didn't, didn't get to do it very much, and he wanted to, to learn how to run the best he could. Okay, so how do you how do you rank King's Fall with the other endgame activities in terms of, say, Vault of Glass, uh, End of Crota, Prison, hmm. Prison of Elders, which now has two variants, right, because you've still got the original one, but then you've also got the, the new level 41, uh, you know, the, the higher level taken stuff. Where, yeah, where do you rank? I, well, to be honest, I can't really say that I enjoy... Uh, King's Fall, the activities as much as the other stuff. You know, I'm not a big jumping puzzle guy, and in fact, I remember the first time I, I was doing this, I absolutely loathed all the jumping stuff. Oh. And I'm, I was and amazed I'm, there was that. I'm totally other. afraid to get off the platform now. I'm not even sure. I'm not even <laughs> sure why the vessel's down there. We're either yep. killing him or we're not. But but I. I've had I had so many runs spoiled by people who got off the platform that I'm just really afraid <laughs> you didn't to do want it. to be that guy. Unless, yeah, yeah. Unless everybody <laughs> is off already or somebody says to get off the platform, I was just sticking on it until the last I'm minute. I'm doing my job. So I'm I was still kind job. of shooting the vessel, but I'm not getting down off the platform <laughs> to do it. No, you can't make me. I'm not leaving. Um, so so what's yeah. Your, so as far so as what's your favorite then? What's your favorite? Uh, is I don't it know. still Vault? Vault of, Vault of Glass is definitely up there. You know, it was the first. It was it was always the the biggest challenge uh, at the time because of the sheer volume of of people and things. Um, it also had a certain amount of variance, and whatever jumping was in it was all uh, you know directional. You were jumping down, and you had to not kill yourself, as opposed to um, you know lots of obstacles to go through. You know, there's this one stretch where you've got to get across, and at the time I absolutely load that, too. I mean, I can remember the first time I did it. Um, I literally See, I had to have I, them, you know, die and have them continue on and spawn with them, so... I will take the jumping puzzles in King's Fall over the jumping puzzle in Vault of Glass any any day. Well, once I figured Vault, it was easy. In fact, once I figured this, it was easy. So, it, it was really more the frustration at the time, because uh, I'm not great at jumping puzzles in general because I can't see my feet um, but it's just as far as the, the overall experience and playing it over and over and over again to be honest the only reason I keep doing this is because of gear mm -hmm. and this is the only way to get certain gear so there really is no choice see on, um, on aesthetics I'm probably inclined to choose the vault oh yes and then I died on the platform too many eyes yep. Um, yep. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't on gameplay only because, and the thing that's always bugged me about Vault, at least in part because we got to it late, right? I mean, we, you know, we, we didn't, we didn't jump in early the way we tried to on King's Fall. 
um, right. is that uh, there's no other part of the game that sets up the relic for the Vault of Glass. And, yeah. when, they, and when they did End of Crota and then King's Fall, uh, the, the relics were all set up in terms of you were familiar with how they looked, how you used them, what they were for. Um, and since they're going to force people to try and use them, right, by... by you know, picking in sisters, people randomly to be torn, so everybody has uh, to yeah, do the thing. Not a, yeah. um, and they. I hear oh, it's because the more people who die from the jumping puzzles actually get picked for that. Really? So, um, yeah. Somebody, somebody told me that just the other day. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's true I'd either. Be but that. well, but, considering I actually died a lot during the one particular time and suddenly kept getting it for some reason, <laughs> I I, I can't I disagree with I it. I think it's coincidence, but. Uh, but it just seems to me they were set up better, especially End of Frodo, where, you know, the sword was already a, a, a more ordinary item than the relic in... Uh, yeah, it was already a functioning component. Yeah, and, and they put it into the game, so even in patrol mode, so everybody... And then, and then, of course, they made it a regular, you know, weapon that anybody can get and right. keep, keep all the time in now, several variations, so... As far as Crota goes, Crota, I like the variation of things to do and when to do them. Do you know what I mean? It yeah. feels like an adventure where you've yes. got stages. It feels like there are, are a lot of varying things where you have to do things, your group has to do things, um, and everyone does have to function. So the dynamics and the mechanics of it, I enjoy uh, probably just as good, if not better, than Vault, simply because of, of what you do. Yeah, Whereas I mean, like the high Vault was never quite clear. You had to basically base it on other people's experiences with it. It was never really designed quite in a way so that as you were playing, you learn as you go. It was more like, okay, you know, people already spent 12 hours with this. They figured it out and then told everybody else. You know what I mean? Yeah. For me, for me, it's part that both End of Crota and this. And I, th I wonder if Bungie's working themselves oh, into, like, the bomb. into another... Uh, was I supposed to? Oh, I, I picked up no, ammo I and I ran into the bomb. Did I? I think you did. Yep. That's okay. Well, I think we were wiping anyway. No. Um, but uh, yeah, so I think, if, I, if think I had to rate uh, yeah, them, we may have Vault called be, that a wipe earlier. I'm not sure. Yeah, Vault probably would be first. Crota would be second, and this would definitely be a distant third. For me, I think part of it is that the abyss was such a nice atmosphere and set up the rest of that um, so so well. And also, remember the there's more integration in King's Fall uh, and in End of Crota between yeah. the single player story mission campaign and the raid whereas in vanilla destiny it's really kind of divorced like there's no way you can say like what's the what's the culmination of the vex subplot in vanilla destiny yeah. is it heart of the Gar black garden or is it the raid because the raid only gets like mentioned once in the archive mission like yeah. oh, there's a thing called the vault of glass everything else is pushed into you know grimoire and other other places like that. Um, I know I do at least one run in this thing. Maybe this is it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. This is it. Yep. He's actually running. He's running, ladies and germs. So I actually, I actually like doing this. I actually like doing the the, the running in in sisters and in Oryx. Uh, well, you know what's sad is that I I'm not a fan of it, but apparently I'm good at it, and a lot of people are like, let black turn on, let black turn on. I'm like, ah. To me, this is just running around in a circle, and you know well, I didn't I'm okay pay with an exorbitant it. amount. My, my part of time is that I'm not great about finding. Actually, although here I get the guy right right off the bat, I get lucky. Sometimes yep. they get turned around, and there was a there was a bug they said that that used to cause you to get turned around when smashing a platform or yes. smashing the. Uh, oh, we lost the vessel. Things. Oh yeah, uh, and sadly, it, I can't tell you how many times that actually happened. Well, we got through the first round, so clean up ads. Yeah, I'm not sure where we lose it yeah. here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, you're the, supposed to be shooting him in the chest, so. <laughs> well, I am. I am. Look. Oh. I'm also trying to revive people, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great meeting, everybody. Same time next week. <laughs> The only thing I dislike about running is not having not having a clear territory for handling the air raid portion here. Oh yeah. Like I like I, having a platform to run around. And, yeah. And personally, I find this whole thing silly. 
it, it, it does, again, be part of the whole kind of JRPG boss thing where he's part of the environment and not a unit you're fighting. And, and so many of the boss characters in Destiny are kind of immobile or so big like this guy yeah. he's just kind of rotating around you like you know the tanks get dropped like off in tank, public yeah. events and they don't move um, the, the only thing that's more like a Dark Souls boss fight in terms of mobility is stuff like the Shield Brothers Strike right we've got a big arena and you've got uh, units that uh, move around aggressively to hound you Because, you know, Oryx doesn't move around much, and Cro he's got a set pattern and, and very, you know, set limits on where he goes. And same with Crota. And same with Atheon. Uh, and same with the other, you know, the big Vex units that are boss and mini boss units like the Gate Lord. Wow, they don't really have a lot of variation, do they? Why do you need to get well, I think it's I think the problem is just being a shooter. The, the thing that Dark Souls mm. can do, because it's more of a melee-focused game, is to have more arenas. And the idea basically is that you have to be you have to be close to do damage, uh, and then you need to get away to avoid it. Whereas, you know, in shooting, you you always want to be distant from your target, and your target right. can always hit you, even no matter how far you get away, because they're also using missile weapons. You know, mm. so everything everything is everything in Dark Souls is based on kind of dodging blocking, attacking, and parrying, and everything in Destiny, unfortunately, to have the same kinds of things going on are, is based on various kinds of immunity, right? You know, you, they give you an enemy that's so big that you can't defeat him unless you get some kind of a buff. Bonus, oh, and yeah. then you get uh, an enemy that you can't withstand their attacks unless you have an immunity of some kind, like, like what you get from the Vessel of Oryx there. Right. Oh, Thunderdome time. Yeah, I, I thought I thought we were jumping up on the platform, and then it turned out it was Thunderdome. So, yep. Gotta get those knights in the play. Um, there is at least I don't know if it's in this recording. There was at least one time I know where I was just kind of I was just kind of shooting ads around, and I wandered into the Thunderdome. Oh, you did! And oh, got no. I don't think I, it may not be in this recording, but I know it happened. It happened I always once. get stuck, um, like going for something that I need, and oh wow, I Actually, don't. Actually, tag remember where I'm at, there. <laughs> and it's it actually spawns on me, <laughs> oh. and I usually get insta killed. Oh, there we go. I think I was at the last one in there. Yep. Uh, no, he's going to he's going to no he's Front going left. to oh okay he's going. Yeah, I, but this is so, this is so ritualized and structured. It's it's so quite obviously video gaming. I gotta wonder, like, yeah. what, what what is what does this look like from Oryx's perspective? Like, what exactly <laughs> is he doing? What does he think he's doing? To say like, I, I'm going to invite you yeah. guys in to solve my puzzle, and if you win, you can kill me. Yeah, it's like seriously. why I've he, he can smash you. Worlds. He can smash you're you, but worthy. only when you're on the platforms, right? He can't just mm. smash you when you're standing anywhere else, right? Oh no, ship! Oh, oh. Yeah. That was, whoa, that was, that was close. close. Hey, or it slammed and hit him in the chest. Yes. I'm going to do the following things to expose my incredible vulnerability to all. Yeah, yeah just, exactly. <laughs> what what is it about what we did? It's like oh, okay, no. I get it. You need to get the vulner you need to get the buff from the vessel in order to withstand his return fire. But but what is it about that that causes his chest to open? Like why does it why does it do that? I don't that? know. Why, I mean, why, is, why does any of this happen? Come on, space magic. I don't know. The, the Atheon thing <laughs> kind of made a little bit of sense to me with him, the idea that you, you attack him in his lair and he's trying to get rid of you by teleporting you out to random places and you have to fight your way back. I mean, I kinda, hey, I if he can kill us that. all by clapping his hands, why doesn't he just do it from the outright? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's a... Why, why, yeah, what what is it about what we're doing that prevents that from happening the rest of the time? Or you can I, only do it at set times. I mean, yeah, it's just it's it's reasons, you know. It, it's a I, video still game. I still Relax think it's I still think it's weird that at the end of Regicide, 
he laughs when he takes himself because I'm like, no, dude, you weren't planning on that. You were going to kill me. You know, you, he's right. laughing as if, ha, ha, you, you, you know, you've, you've wandered into my, you've fallen into my trap. Well, no, I think it was more of a, but, a, a taking your victory away from you. It's like, I, I still haven't escaped. Yeah, you know, but that I'm shouldn't not really be, defeated. That shouldn't you know? be something that should cause him to, to laugh. laugh. No, it should. It, he, I don't it, know. It, if I was him, I'd be laughing. So do you think you've defeated me? <laughs> if wrong. he killed you, he should laugh. If if you manage to kill him and he has to resort to this last resort thing, he should be like, "Damn, man, I didn't want to have to use my you know my final power." You know, I mean, <laughs> it, you should. It, it, the laugh says to me, "I planned that," and you can't really. Nah. He sh you shouldn't be saying he should be planning it that way. He's still laughing. Well, he maybe he did plan it, but it was just again, you know, a last I mean, I, resort plan. I, I, I you see know? that they want to have more character, right? Because I mean, if, whatever you think about how cool the design is, Atheon does not have a lot of character. Um, oh, Atheon has no I mean, character. What are you talking about? I mean, you know, he's just he's just a big robot. I mean, they they added a lot of character to the Vex in some of the special story missions. You know, like the one. Oh, somebody. Oh no! One. And I think I think that's where this, which is too bad because this has been going oh, on now was, for that what? That was a perfectly like, fine run up like until that point. Seven or eight minutes. Uh, I think I actually Who's try to get that? back on track. Dying? I don't know. I think somebody may have died on a platform. Yeah, oh, okay. Well. And then the ship gets us and that's that. Oh, and you waste super. Yes. I was like, no, I'm back with the dead and I'm pissed. No, we're probably, I think <laughs> the, I think the timer is too long. Oh, he was going to slam down his fist anyway and kill me, so, you know. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, we're doing so well, and and that's yeah, that one of the was dynamics going really this well. that I'm not a big fan of is that even even after this, even if we were to have defeated that run, and we were to go to shoot him in in the uh, chest at the end, there's still a chance you could fail, and yeah, that that I remember the first couple times we we uh, failed to do it. I mean, people were throwing controllers; they got so upset. So, yeah, not a fan fan of that yeah. particular dynamic. This this scene is called "Everybody Spends Silver But Me," um, mm -hmm. because I actually <laughs> I actually messed up. You know what I did what? when they gave you those first four hundred units of silver for free, and you could buy anything you want. Yeah, I was an idiot. I spent it on one of the uh, one of the Halloween the, the Festival of the Lost gift collection things. Oh really? Yeah, I don't know why, why I did that. I don't know if I don't. I thought maybe I would get a chance of getting something better than just buying, a, you know, an emote or two or whatever. So mm -hmm. basically, I and I basically got nothing out of it. I got like masks and glue and stuff like that. And it was I right. thought maybe some of the other stuff could or would be included in there, and it, and it, and wasn't. it wasn't. So I still Aww. have I still have only the free emote stances because I just refused to put money into that system. I. No, no oh. offense to Bungie, but I just think it sets up bad incentives. That that uh, it's unfair to ask them to resist. That if you if if this if this system works for you and makes money, and you can make more money by making dances, then you're you're dumb not to do it, right? I mean, yeah. Act Activision will make them do it if it's making everybody money. Yeah. Um. Um. The no. The funny thing is, I actually didn't spend my silver up until recently, and I I actually it's weird because I I. I spent it by accident. Um, no. My I've, wife still has hers. I haven't asked her what she wants for it. For it. The well, the funny thing is, is that when after the update, there was a bunch of different um, notifications where there were characters that you you know should or, or needed to go to, uh, and one of them, of course, was um, uh, uh, what's her face. And I, I went there, and there was one of the packages or something that looked mm -hmm. highlighted, and I thought it was like. Uh, a, a freebie? Gift. Oh, okay. A freebie, yeah. Uh, and, so you spent it, it. And so I bought one, and it gave me these legs and stuff, and I'm like, oh, okay, this is sort of cool. They're like level three, so I'm like, okay, this is an infusion thing. Um, and, th th you know, that's when I found out that your infusion is now 100%, which is great. Um, but yeah. I went and I bought two of them, and they both turned out to be the exact same thing. Oh, and I thought a lot of it was supposed to be or meant to be random, and that apparently that wasn't the case. So I, I blew whatever free 400 silver on two of the exact same pants for for my Titan. So I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do with those or or if anything. So I mean I got one, but the other one it's like great. I don't need to infuse two sets of pants for the same character. You know what I mean? 
So yeah, so I, I wish Bungie would, would incorporate more nope. of an exchange now what happened, system. What happened there? We had at least one at least one detonation and then like three deaths. Uh, I don't think people made it back in time. Oh yeah, okay. Maybe? They got a little damage on him, so I don't know. I think Lawn, Lawn got killed somehow. Yeah, I only, saw, back. I only saw one detonation message though, so I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what happened there. I think, yeah, because what this this these three. Okay, there's like four people dead oh, now. Lawn, Lawn died again. So this, this is it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I don't know what I think I'm doing at this point. I mean, the idea of getting know. all these people back up is is ludicrous. Oh no, 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 no. Not you wait happen. until later. No, the only reason <laughs> you revive them here is if you want to be cruel and have them spawn <laughs> in and just run around. <laughs> Which we have done on occasion. Well, actually, okay, you're you're up. So we're actually trying to we're actually trying to salvage something here. I just don't think I don't. Oh yeah, well I mean this is not <laughs> hard mode, so you can just revive everybody. I mean, yeah. So we're we're actually trying to continue this. I think. Oh part yeah, of, there's no part reason of the why problem, we couldn't. Part of the problem with the group we're in, and it it, it matches my own tendencies, is that. Uh, we're terrible. It, well, that, okay, that's part of it. That's part of it. But the other part of it is that once I've settled on a way I like to execute a certain plan, if, yeah. if it goes off the rails, I'd really rather say, okay, let's just start it over. So I'm I'm pretty quick to say, okay, that's a wipe and do it over. See, I I'm rather not a fan than of trying that. to say, I'm... okay, no, revive, get back, on, you know, get back on track. Um, especially when the platforms disappear, because it is yeah. hard to get back on track when that happens. Well, See that in of itself. I'm not a fan of that that dynamic uh, game style anyway, where everything has to be mission critical all the time. I would much rather have it be designed where if you do certain things at certain times and you're good, yay. If you fail to do certain things at certain times, you then have to do this instead, or have to do this to get back, or this to recover, or this to adjust. I would much rather have it be where this had like six or seven permutations. Okay, at four, different four stages. There. <laughs> and if you fail to do something, you have to do something else. You can, can still continue, but the game doesn't wipe and you have to start over right. again. Do you know what I mean? And I, to be honest, I hate the constant wiping for whatever reason, whether people die, mm -hmm. somebody failed to trigger something, or what have you. So, and it, of course, it's not designed that way, and I wish it was. I wish they take that into account that if you want them to keep playing, well, fine, but don't let them have a single point of failure. Yeah. At the last minute, I mean, everyone's oh, starting this, over this, from scratch. Okay, this may be where this ends, because my heavy is a sword, because I've been running, and uh, I'm in here by my... <laughs> I'm in here first, so I don't get, I don't really get any damage on Oh, well, you should be sniper. Yeah, I know, but I think I'm low... Yeah, I see, I only have one sniper bullet. That's my problem. Oh, uh, that'll do it. Um, and, and, and my heavy is a sword, which is, like, not really... Let me look at this. Who does this? This is crazy. I don't know. <laughs> nobody, nobody goes into Thunderdome with a sword. <laughs> Machine gun. Yeah, he's, he's got one. Fair rockets. Fair. Rockets, maybe. <laughs> you know, oh, no. Rock, rockets, rockets, not a great idea. Yourself. Not a great rockets idea. Rockets will kill you over here. What are you kidding? No, but the sword is just too ineffective. I mean, you just, you're just asking for him well, to yeah, slam you. Well, yeah, you can only hit him in the back. Here he comes. Yep. Over. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you get a great angle of this. That's cool. Yeah, for a second you could actually see where the Thunderdome geometry is because it was highlighting mm -hmm. the the echo. It looked like it was like way below the sad part is you're the one who's supposed to be running here. Yep, yep. <coughs> well somebody else could take it. over? Uh I don't remember. Yep, somebody's running around. I don't know who did it. I should have switched to somebody else's camera here, I just but I wasn't thinking of it. Yeah, well, you know. Oh, great, you got a sword. We're so much better off. <laughs> oh, 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 jeez, the lawn just died. Yeah, platforms fade, yeah. Oh, no, are we okay? I don't know, it's so hard to tell. Uh, nope, okay. Oh! Yeah, yeah I, I don't think we're, we're going to be able to do enough I got damage the, on things. I got the vessel, but... Yep, no, that's that. Nope, that's it. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've seen us all die from that perspective. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. So I think this, I think there's just enough time left in the video, I think, for one, one, more one run. complete run. 
So I think this is the one that succeeds, I think. I wasn't sure if there was one that did succeed. Is that true? No, no, there is. There is. <laughs> there is. And this is this wasn't this is the first time this character completed it, but I think it was not the first time I completed it because I actually uh I think after the after the first recording session we had where people had to leave, uh, mm -hmm. I actually got into another group with a warlock. We actually did it in like two or three tries. It went really, really? quickly. Um, uh, yeah, that's well, that's the funny thing when you get into a dynamic group where one of them is the successes go a lot quicker than with others. Uh, and it's amazing that basically I think I I ended up getting the supercell probably the first time Zer sold it, which I think was kind of early. Oh yeah, you, you get that King. really quick. And uh, and I've been using it. I wouldn't say exclusively, but I would say a lot. Well, yeah, you like the uh, chain aspect. Of in fact, it, the right? only the only thing that has convinced me to stop using it that much is that uh, the other day I got a 320 drop of a Badger CCL. Oh, really? And I, I might I might infuse it into something else, but uh, right now I'm using it as my primary. So I I need some more primaries to simply level up the ones that I've got. I think I actually only have one 320 primary, and it's a raid gun, and I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, and I want to um, incorporate it into something else that I would like to use, or would be more combat effective. Yeah, I couldn't find I couldn't find the darn vessel in all of the bloody yeah, effects the, going on there. I just effects. could not see. What am I looking at? <laughs> I think if somebody hadn't told me he died, I wouldn't be sure where he'd gone, mm. actually. I'm not sure why I'm shooting ads now, either. That's dumb. I don't know, either. You're supposed to be shooting him in the chest. Yes, nobody has a brute shot in the bag here, Okay, that's kind of funny. Four detonations. Actually, I think uh, I no, have one. No, no, there was some, but there was... I think there's only one. There's yeah, oh, there I am. Yeah, there I yeah, am. See, I've got mine. There's, okay. only, there's only one or maybe two in this raid. Remember, this is pretty early. So it, some of the footage earlier was from Halloween, so this is last October. Yeah. So this is... Wow. You know, this is, this is a, you know, a, what, a four to six weeks after the thing launched. And, and remember, the raid, the raid didn't launch with the rest of the content, so that was, what, it was two weeks? Two weeks after the Something expansion launched? Something like that, like yeah. That? And we got in there as soon as we could, but we're still under leveled and didn't make it to Oryx. Oh yeah, we we were rushing to get raid ready. I mean, I can remember that with the uh, experience levels and whatnot, and wasting all those materials for rep and all kinds of stuff. Still, the real the real grind in Taken King is the uh, swords, though. It's not. Uh, it's not oh the yeah, raid. <laughs> and, and to be honest, once I got mine, I was like, uh huh. So I I. I can't say that I really use them at all. Yeah, in, and then in they can, and then the latest one they give you a three twenty one right off the bat for doing the the simplest little thing. You just do well, the one it, little strike. Yeah, and you get well, a three twenty you know, void sword. I I haven't done that yet, so we we should oh. probably do that next. Yeah, we're gonna do that because because uh, obviously they want or they think that you need swords for certain things and I've noticed that a lot of the different game dynamics there are a bunch of circumstances where it works not only very very well but it's almost practically necessary I don't know I don't know what the point of that is I think I think maybe it may just be that uh, high level swords is one thing that I noticed people were deficient in because there was so much grinding and people oh, yeah, there were plenty horrible. of people who just wouldn't do it yeah, and they figure I, if you already have swords, then it's infusion bait. And if you don't yep. have them, then okay, now you at least have one high-level sword. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not an exotic, but oh yeah, go on for that exotic stuff. Oh my god, that was absolutely I still, horrendous. I still only ended up getting the one. I didn't go back. I, you know, I was, I, I was set up to try for free, and uh, yeah. sorry, I never, I'm one of never those went that back. But but I'm glad I I'm glad I got the one. He's got a headache this big. Okay, so Thunderdome. I'm not sure. Maybe. Yes. Yes.
You know what I find is really effective, because I got some tracking rockets now, is uh, actually when those guys spawn on the left and right, mm -hmm. is to actually rocket them and destroy them all. Mm. Um, that gets them out quickly for you to, to deal with them as they yeah, spawn in. Yeah, I, I, I think my problem here is that basically I'm I'm wearing the gear I've got to max my light out, and so that's right. why I don't have a huge I don't have a huge amount of choice. Like I don't think I have mm. um, I don't think I have a good machine gun here. That's why I've got the sword. The sword is my highest light level thing. And again, this is the old infusion mechanic, which means if I you know if I use this if I use the sword to infuse something else, I'm going to lose some of that light level. Yeah. Now it's funny, you've actually got it with the music on. I actually don't play with the music on, so I'm I'm not actually familiar with that Oh, with the musical <laughs> that cues? particular dynamic, yeah. Uh, I think I felt okay to do it because I think we were only recording one camera here. Uh, the only yeah. thing is that when I when I know we're gonna use multicam, then the music needs to be off because uh, it's hard it's hard to keep it in precisely in sync. Yeah. Uh, because the the game does a pretty good job. Like if you go back and watch the uh, the heart of the Black Garden episode that we did, it's really close, but close, it is yeah. just off by enough of a fraction of a second that it's very yeah, noticeable when you yeah. go from camera to camera that the that the song is not quite in the same spot. And it was after that that I think we turned music off. So I had it off for a long while, uh, but then when the I think when we finished the story missions for Taken King, I put it back on. Hmm. Interesting. And I actually like, I mean, I, I don't want to talk too much about any of the Marty O'Donnell stuff or anything. I'm not looking to start a, start a fight with anybody, but but um, I think all the music in Taken King is also good. Uh, I think the problem is is that it's just not as, it's not as varied as the stuff from the vanilla game. Um, I mean, it's all very appropriate to the mood of the Taken King content, but it's also so kind of grimdark and dire that you know, you really kind of wish for something else every once in a while. Like, like after this theme has been playing for two hours, you're like, you're oh looking for boy, a little variation. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you need a break from it. Well, to be honest, I I find that I tend to want to mute the music because I'm more interested in in the the combat and the dynamics and the communication with the team and and all that fun stuff. And it's more of a I think, mood placer for I think, me. And I think once everybody's after got the a while, stuff it does down, get repetitive. When, once everybody's got the stuff down, then you can kind of put the music back on and enjoy that portion of the experience. Yeah. But but when you're you know when it but when you're taking hours to figure something out, oh yeah, it, it really you gets to that monotonous. Same piece of music over and yeah. over. And also, just, it's just it's it's also again with the with the hive content, the Crota content, and the and the Oryx content. You know, the music is just, it's just so heavy and dark, yeah. you know, that uh, it's got to, it's got to affect your mood playing, playing this stuff for hours. Because there's no, there's, there's no heroism or humor or any of the other notes yeah, that are no in the rest of the soundtrack in this. It's all just uh, unrelentingly uh, depressing <laughs> and, <laughs> and dark and foreboding and uh, and especially when you fail repeatedly you you tend to feel that way too <laughs> yeah at least there's no musical taunt you know there's yeah. that there is the death notice and all that stuff but there's no straight up musical taunt oh oh what am i doing i don't what know am I doing you get lost oh I there think I got lost. Yeah, you got lost it's like where'd he go Maybe I maybe I was trying to pick up some I think it was trying to pick up some sniper ammo or something. It's funny, I feel like calling out all the things we should be doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Orcs is going right. Yeah. Left plate narc. <laughs> Left plate narc. <laughs> Inside joke, guys. Um, did we record that or uh -oh. no? I don't remember. Oh, oh yeah. People back. are dying. People are dying. And resurrected. Oh, oh no. This has we have to pull this out though because it's three minutes left. We don't have time to restart another run, oh, so we man. must we must make it out of this. Quick, 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 quick. Yeah, sixteen seconds on. Mm. 
Oh yes, it's already it's already final yep. phase here now, isn't Rick, it? Everybody, see, oh, oh, see now it's just open. You're reloading. Yeah, there we Ooh. go. Wow. Oh yeah, so ravenous heart. So that is that is the first completion for this for this character because I got the quest item. Wow. Which which is such a troll because that icon <laughs> looks like it looks like an exotic something. I'm like, yeah, oh, I got a yellow thing. I got a yellow thing. Oh, it's a quest item. Quest items ought to be a totally different color that's not used elsewhere in the game. <laughs> I was having enough trouble in the new strike the other day because that that effect that they put on the on the aura that they stole from the the abyss, uh -huh. it makes green engrams look yellow. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah. that's evil. Yeah, evil. Person. I felt it's for that. Bad a enough, the times. blues look like purples. Yes, in in some of the lighting uh, schemes, it does. Yep. So okay. What did I get? So that was that was our actual normal mode <laughs> yeah so that was raid. that was that hunter's first completion and of course the you know the hard mode adds the extra knights and we didn't get to see any of that and uh the only thing i remember about that was that i the first time that was explained to me i was looking on the wrong side i was on a platform <laughs> and i was looking for the ogre on you know next to my platform and then mm -hmm. i would turn around and i was looking when they said that the knight spawned across from them i was looking at like on the same side as me you know the same side of the aisle but just on the other end so like from like one or two i thought it was back near the door i, I didn't think it was diagonally to me across the across the aisle so i'm looking and i'm looking and i'm looking after the ogre and i don't see any knight there and finally i do see a knight but it's the other side's knight and so i'm shooting that and somebody else is shooting it i figure they're just trying to help me out you know and so meanwhile the other knight is spawning and running <laughs> in my bum and, and i wasn't even looking on that side anymore Hmm. Okay, so here we are, you know, going for shawarm a moment, where Oryx is floating off towards Saturn. Yeah, I do. I do think that was a really nice touch that they just made him tumble and float Drift out off. in space like that, and that he didn't immediately disappear. I don't know how well, long you, he stays there, but it, I, well, I thought that it was makes a nice you wonder touch. if he gets drawn into the gravity and just kind of disappears in Saturn. Oh wow! That means that that what that if if Saturn has a rocky core somewhere, does that mean he's down there? I mean, they'll make a they'll make a mm. Destiny Two mission to go find Oryx's crash site, or well, yeah, you yeah. probably have something on his body you have to recover. They'll they'll think of something. Okay, well, thanks for tuning in. Uh, join us in next time. Uh, yeah, next, next time will be adventure. the April update content, which will be yeah. the uh, the Malak story mission and strike. So tune us in next time.